Deval Patrick is the governor of Massachusetts. His predecessor was uh, Mitt Romney. Uh, now, it would make sense if he were to go after Mitt Romney, given that he's Democrat, would like to help President Obama. They've been longtime friends. But he says that Mitt Romney has been uh, good to him and that uh, he's always been a gentleman to me, and I don't like that kind of politics. Uh, patty cakes, patty cakes, patty cakes. All right, now, Bain Capital is in Massachusetts. So I get that as the governor of Massachusetts, you're going to want to soft pedal that a little bit. So let's see what he has to say about it. Clip one. You're the governor of a state uh, that Bain Capital calls its global home. <laughs> it's right up the street. Their Indeed. Global headquarters. Indeed. Um, are they a bad company? No, no, they're not a bad company. Nobody, nobody is saying they are, including the president. You know, the, it's a remarkable thing. Um, you know, if you take a little step back to watch how good the Republicans are at changing the changing the subject. This is not about Bain. It's not about uh, private equity in general. It's about a guy who is holding himself out to be a job creator, creator, who uh, uh, whose record is fair game in that. Uh, patty cakes, patty cakes, patty cakes. Yeah, oh, Bay Capital is awesome, awesome. Now I don't know yet. I don't know if they'll even bother to do the research on it, but my guess is that Deval Patrick might have taken some money from private equity and perhaps from Bain Capital. In this I do know, by the way, one of President Obama's top donors, we just found out, was a guy named Jonathan Levine, a Bain Capital executive. Not only that, uh, he has raised more than $200,000 for Obama's campaign in this election. Not only that, he served on the board of directors at Ampad. That's one of the companies that Bain Capital drunk their milkshake, sucked all the mo money out, they collapsed it, and uh, that President Obama's running ads against. One of his top fundraisers is the guy who was running that company, was at least on the board of directors. Now when Bain was asked about it, oh no, no, Jonathan had nothing to do with that. Uh, neither did Mitt Romney, neither did anybody at Bain, except for the fact that Bain did it. <laughs> okay. Gee, I don't know why both Democrats and Republicans are so soft on bankers, I can't quite tell. Well, let's keep listening to uh, Deval Patrick. States. It's not about whether Bain is good or bad. I have friends at Bain. I have people who supported really? the other candidate in my own uh, in, in my own uh, campaigns. I respect what Bain does and its role in the uh, in the free market system. But we need somebody who understands that there are multiple bottom lines, and that's what we have in President Obama. Uh, no, no, but Bain is good. Bain is good. Private equity is good. God, have I been a good boy? Have I been a good boy? Uh, Mark Warner, another you know multi-millionaire who's a Democrat uh, senator from Virginia, who can't wait to, by the way, cut your Social Security and Medicare. He's the leading proponent of the grand bargain where they do that and they give tax cuts to the rich. Uh, you know, I think very highly of Mark Warner. Um, says Bain Capital is a very successful business. They got a good return for their investors. Then he went on to give 100 caveats. Of course, the Republicans cut out the caveats. They just go with that sentence. But I actually think that it's fair. It's, it's politics, man. And he's saying the same thing every Democrat is out now saying. Like, President Obama's running this campaign against Mitt Romney's record at Bain Capital. Yet you have all these Democrats all across the country coming down and going, Bain, Bain, Bain. We're so sorry we never meant anything. Please, please keep giving us money. Losers. No, but like that's our system. That's our system. What do you want Deval Patrick to do? What do you want Cory Booker to do? Well, I know what I want him to do. I want him to push for a constitutional amendment. But if they're not heroes, they're not revolutionaries, they're just ordinary folks who are smart, if you want to win in this system, you suck up to the banks, you get their money, you crush your opponents. They're playing within the system. They're like, what do you want me to do, lose? No, and what do you want me to do, actually fix the country? Come on, that's too much to ask for a politician. But you know what, here's what I'd like Cory Booker and Deval Patrick and Mark Warner and Barack Obama all to do. Can I at least get you to try a little bit? Can I at least get you to care a tiny bit and go, hey, you know what, perhaps it's not a good thing for the country that we all have to suck up to our campaign donors, and in this case, primarily the Wall Street bankers. Perhaps that that doesn't give us healthy legislation and has not served the country well. So could we just at least try to get rid of that? So for example, to say, hey, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't allow unlimited corporate contributions. For example, to have a constitutional amendment. Now, passing a constitutional amendment is hard, right? But can you propose one? Can you give it a shot, see what happens? No, 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 you just say, oh, no, nothing I can do, nothing I can do. You just keep going along. Now, when it comes to protecting Wall Street, though, oh, the Democrats are amateurs compared to the Republicans. So what did the Republicans do recently? Well, they went to the SEC, and they decided to cut out 
$225 million from their budget. So that is the GOP's gift to the banks. Why? It's not just that they're trying to reduce the deficit and what can you do, SEC is part of the government, etc. No, no, the SEC is not part of the budget. The SEC gets their money directly from the banks in order to regulate the banks. Now that's a smart system, because we don't want the banks blowing up, that doesn't even help the banks, right? That's why we set it up that way. But what the Republicans want is they do want unlimited gambling by the banks, because they work for the banks. Those banking executives are going to make a little extra money this year and next year before their banks blow up in the third year, right? As happened in 2008. So what do they say? They say we want a double-sided gift. One, you take $225 million out of the SEC and give it to us and we put it in our pocket. And number two, then the Securities and Exchange Commission can't regulate us. So we can cheat all we want, we can commit fraud, we can tell uh, you know, our executives and, and our top investors one thing, we can tell the public something else, we can dupe a lot of our clients, treat them as Muppets, sell them toxic crap, as we saw them say in their internal emails. And you'll never ever punish us, and you just let us keep robbing that money. And the Republicans said, yeah, absolutely. What else can I do for you? And uh, Mitch McConnell actually had a funny quote. Mitch McConnell said, the less we fund those agencies, the better America will be. Now, do you really believe that? Do you think that there, there are no cops on Wall Street and you just don't police the markets and you let the banks do whatever they want, that the country is going to be better off? Did that work for us in 2008? They stripped away banking regulations systematically from 1999 to 2008. And what was the result? An epic collapse, right? And after that epic collapse, the robbers come back and say, no, 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 if you just deregulate more, things will be better. Well, we do. JP Morgan loses, at this point, seven billion and counting. Fraud is still rampant. In fact, the, for, uh, the robo-signing foreclosure fraud happened after 2008. No one ever gets punished and the robbers run wild. And then they give a tiny bit of their loot to the Republicans and Democrats. That's how they buy our system. And that's why we have the incredibly dysfunctional government and Wall Street that we have. Thank you, Republicans. Thank you, Democrats. We appreciate it.